Hey class, I want to do a final little update on the image gallery. I've got this dynamic image gallery displayed and styled. I've got a list of thumbnails and if I click a thumbnail, I'll get to see a big version of that clicked image. The image I click will be encoded as part of the URL and that's how PHP can load the full size version of the clicked image. And I think it's pretty cool to have a dynamic image gallery. I also think it would be a lot cooler if I could upload with PHP additional images for my gallery. And it's not all that hard, so let's do that. First of all, such uploading would happen through a form. So I'd like to um, I'd like to create a new view. with such a form. So return, save that, we could call it um, image upload form html.php, save it in the views folder and it should return some form Let's give that form a, uh, a field set with a legend of upload new image. You may not be familiar with field set and legend elements. A field set is a set of fields, so it's a group of related form fields. And legend, it's kind of like a heading, except it's a heading for a field set. I'll show it to you in a second. Let's make a file. Hang on. Let's make a new input of type equals file. And name equals file data. Let's take a look at that. Um, oh, there'll be nothing to see yet. I need to include this file inside my image gallery. So I've got this $out variable which will be returned and that should also hold whatever I get back from including my views image upload form html.php. Let's look at that. And here in the bottom, I've got a field set with a legend and a file chooser button. So that's my input of type file. It will allow me to browse my, my system and find files that I can upload. <clears throat> I need a submit button as well. So, form can, so the form can actually be submitted. So an input of type submit with a name of, oh, we could call that new image. That's more like it. I can choose a file and I can submit to get it uploaded. Now, to, when you submit a form, you need to use a certain method you need to specify a certain action. I'm already using get for my navigation, so I'll use the post method for my forms. And especially for file uploading, I must use post. The method get cannot be used for uploading file data, whereas the method post can. The action, well, I'd like to reload my gallery page and my gallery page is called index.php page equals image gallery. So that's the URL. That's the, the file I'd like to uh, reload when the form is submitted. There's one final thing. In order to, to upload file data, I need to change the default encoding. 
So by default, forms will encode variables whenever it comes across a name attribute. So it will in, uh, create a name a file data and hold file data in that uh, as part of the, the post array. And the same for a new image. A new image URL variable will be encoded. By default, um, variables will, in, will be encoded as uh, basic strings. And that will not suffice for uploading file data. To do that, we need to specify to, that the form should use a different encoding type. And that type should be multi-part form data, which will allow um, files to be uploaded in small packages, really. So this must be this ink type attribute must be declared on the form if you want to do a file upload. It's absolutely necessary. With that in place, I can begin to upload. Let's just see. So I've got it there. <clears throat> So first of all, I want to explore what is the form submitted. Let me make a variable upload image. And that should hold uh, whatever we get back from is set. When I look at a dollar underscore post. Uh, let's see. So when the form is submitted, I know there will be a post variable because I'm using method post. So there will be a post variable under the name new image. So if that variable, the new image post variable, if that is set, I know the form was submitted. So if upload image, <clears throat> I need to grab hold of my file data. Now, dealing with file data in PHP, um, you need to use another superglobal. You've used superglobal get for the visible URL variables, those you can see here. You've used post for the invisible variables for, um, uh, for form, form submissions. Now, file data we can find under files. That's another super global. And to look for the file uploaded through this particular form, I need to look under the name indicated by the file chooser, the input of type file. So that name, I must look under that name to find file data. And I can find it in the files super global array. Let's just take a look at that. I want to print out file data whenever the form is submitted, just to see what do we have uh, available here. So let's go and refresh this page. Pick some JPEG. There's me. And I get to print out what we found in the files array. It's a little nicer to look at if you view source. So it's an array. It has a name. That's the name of the image file. It has a type. That's the mine type of the file uploaded. There is a temp name. Well, that's a location, a temporary location on your web server where the file is saved. So it, it will be saved here temporarily. There is an error. And in this case, the error code is zero, meaning no error. There's also a size. That is the size of the image in bytes. So um, in order to upload, actually save the uploaded image, I need to grab the data under temp name and save it so I can uh, use it <coughs> in my gallery. So the actual file data will be stored under the name file data 
because that was the name of the file input type. And then under the temp name, which is a, um, a default PHP name for where will file data be saved temporarily. That's the file data. I also need a file name. I can find that in the files array under the file data name under name. That's the name of the image. So name. We are nearly done here. All I need to do to actually save the file is to move the uploaded file from its temporary position, from its temporary save, saving place, to um, to some other directory on my server. So I want to move file data from the temporary place, and I want to keep it in my image folder under the name it already has, under its original name. There we are. Save that and let's try. Not view source. Here's my gallery. Let me choose an image of me. Submit that. And there we are. It's uploaded. So file upload is pretty darn easy. Oh, hang on. I don't like that submit. Submit is the default value displayed on submit buttons. Let's just change that. In the upload form, I've got no value declared on the submit button. So I'll get to see the default value, which is submit. I'd rather see, I don't know, upload. Let's take a look. Oh, don't resubmit the form, just refresh the page. There we are. The button is now uh, labeled upload. So that's it. Uploading images with PHP is pretty simple. This is not 100% secure. Any user can upload any file at all to your file system as it is. And things may go wrong, but this, this code does not check for anything that may or may not um, happen in the upload process. So if you're in luck, this will work. Sometimes it will not, but um, let's look at the finer refinements of how to deal with uploads more elegantly. Let's do that later. Thanks for watching.